Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how long the cable we can have for a Bird Box camera. As I mentioned, I prefer the camera with cable connection. Why? Because the cable provides more stable connection than Wi-Fi. The bandwidth of the cable connection is also higher than Wi-Fi. This is the IP Bird Box camera. It uses the Ethernet cable to connect the PoE injector and the camera. This is the PoE injector. The injector has the two ports. The LAN port is connecting to the router. The PoE port is connecting to the camera. The injector will add the power to this Ethernet cable and send to the camera. This is the 20 meter, 60 feet Ethernet cable. We do need a power source for the camera. The cable will provide both power and data. You can see the indicators on. Here we got the camera. It's a waterproof version. The camera sport micro SD card. We can install the micro SD card and save the live video to the camera. After we install micro SD card, we need to use this 3N tape to cover the slot to, put, to maintain the motor waterproof. And the camera can deliver 4 megapixel resolution. All right, now let's go to check the live video. This is the mobile phone. Camera's live now. Also, I can check the live video on live video on the MacBook. Hold on. We got the live video on the MacBook and also the my mobile phone. So the camera's live now. The first thing we are going to do is we'll replace this cable with 100 meter. It's about 300 feet. According to the TCP/IP technology, it should work because the TCP/IP can reach 300 feet. Here I got the 100 feet, 100, 300 feet Ethernet cable. It's the standard K5 K5 Ethernet cable. You don't need any special cable to connect the PO injector to the camera. Basically, you just need the K5 or K6 Ethernet cable. It will be fine. I'm going to remove the cable and replace the longer one. and connect another end to the camera. It will take a while before the camera boots up. I connect the part cable, you can see the indicator is on. Also, the indic power data indicator is also start flashing, which means the camera is getting the power and data. It's changed with the router. Let's move to the software. Now I think the camera's live. It's working perfectly, right? This is my hand. We are seeing the birdhouse. Here we got 300 feet. Can we have more longer distance than 300 feet? The answer is yes. Now I'm going to test about 1,000 feet. But in this solution, I need to replace the PO injector with the special PoE switch. This is the long range PoE switch. It can supply up to 2,500 feet cable connection for this bird box camera. You didn't hear me wrong, it's about 2,500 feet. It's pretty wrong, right? Now let's get started. First, I need to replace this cable with 1,000 feet K5 Ethernet cable. We don't need this cable anymore. This is the 1,000 feet Ethernet cable. Next, we'll Replace this PoE injector with this long, run, long range PoE switch. This switch will supply both power and data to the camera. Next, let's power the long range PoE switch. We'll connect one of the ports to the router. So we will have the data from the router. This is one end from the 1000 feet Ethernet cable. Let's connect to the port number one. The port number one and number two can supply long runs, PoE network. Now let's move to the camera end. Can we just connect the cable to the camera directly? Negative. The reason is the camera needs some equipment to send back the signal. The camera is just the regular camera. It can send, cannot supply the 2,500 2, feet network. This is the PoE standard. It can help the camera to return the signal for the long run. Now we need to connect the input port to the cable 
from the PoE standard PoE switch and connect the output port using this short punch code with the camera. Now we can see the power indicator is on, which means the camera is getting the power. We also see the data indicator is start flashing. The camera is exchanged the data with the router. Let's move back to the Mac. Now the band has fired the camera. Here we can see the camera's live again. This is the camera. It's working pretty well with 1,000 feet Ethernet cable. We also can test more longer cable, but I'm not going to do it in this video. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.